Volca based oscillator for Cork NTS1. Copying the architecture of the Volca based oscillators, this custom oscillator includes actually three oscillators, each with on off, saw or square waveform, and pitch control up to plus or minus one octave. Includes also a global octave selection for playing the whole frequency range using only the NTS1 ribbon, slide function, and the step sequencer with 16 steps for notes or rest and slide selection per step. It features three memory slots for sequences and the fourth group slot that plays all the other three at the same time, each to its own oscillator, in a paraphonic way. The Volca based oscillator for Korg NTS1 is totally free and you can download using the link in the description below. If you'd like to support my work, just hit the like button, subscribe, share this around or simply download and enjoy this custom oscillator. Keep watching the video for detailed instructions on how to use the Volcabase oscillator for Korg MTS1. Hey, what's up guys? So, I'm explaining you how to use the this oscillator. So we have three oscillators, right? So, uh, turning the alt parameter turns the, the oscillators on. So I have oscillator 1 on, and I have the oscillator 2, and oscillator 3. Okay? So let me just turn the first oscillator a little bit lower. Then we can so one, two, three. Then only two and three, only one and three, only three, only two. Okay. So the shape parameter uh, changes between sauce and square. So we have the people three letters on. And we'll see if I turn the shape parameter. First, they're all saws. And the third is a square. The second is a square. And the third is a square. Okay, I don't have all combinations here because uh, it will be simple uh, this way. Okay, so saw, square. Okay. If you long press OS and turn the type knob. Uh, you'll access the extra parameters, which are six, and so parameters one, two, and three are the pitch of the three oscillators, and it works this way. So if it's zero, there is just regular pitch, no change. If we turn it up, each value is a cent of a tone up until you reach 50 which will be half a tone, okay? If you turn it further up, each value is half a tone up. So 50 until 61, which is a full octave up. And the same 
Coming down. So this is exactly the same way that uh, the vocab speech uh, works. So uh, two is for oscillator two, and three is the same for oscillator three. Parameter four is the slide and octave. They're uh, both on the same parameter because there are only six parameters and there were not enough parameters for everything. So. I join these two things in, in, in this parameter. So value zero is normal octave and the uh, slide is off. Then if you turn it up to one until nine it's octaves one to nine. So and if you turn it to ten then it's also but slide is on and if you turn it up to 11 to 19 you select the octave but the slide is on if you turn it to number 20 then it's the same as zero so no octave and slide is off and the 21 is the same as 10 so no octave this is just to, to make it easier to turn uh, slide on or off if you don't want to mess with, uh, with the octaves. Parameter number 5 is the, the sequencer mode, the step sequencer mode. So it goes from off, uh, on or uh, record. So when it's zero it's off. If you turn it to 17, it starts the record mode. So you can record 16 steps. And then every note you play, it uh, plays the sequencer instead of the note you're playing. If you turn the, the ARP on, for instance, in latch mode, you start playing the sequencer. Let's say, for instance, that you, you want to, to change uh, a particular step, so you can turn it to 17 to start the record mode, and then you just turn to the step that you want to change and uh, it will change the that step and all the steps after that so uh, I'll turn it to 5 so it's five, six, seven, eight. okay now I can just turn it to 0 off and then to any value below 17 it's on and starts restarts from 0 okay Okay, so parameter number six is the memory, the memory slot selector. So uh, it has four slots. So if I uh, I'm playing number one, if I turn it two, it's it has nothing. Okay, so I'm going to record now number two. sequencer mode again, turn it to 17 and start recording, just turn the, the octave a bit down, so this is 3 here, octave 3, I can select um, specific steps to record, so I'm going to record now on step 1, step 5, Fifteen, 
16 16 for instance okay now if I turn it to 0 and to on again if I play it during the recording if I want to record a pause a rest I just have to long press a uh, note and it will be uh, recorded as a rest so for instance let me just turn to sequencer number one let me just uh, put some rests here so I just turn to uh, 17 start recording and I'll just record a rest in step 5 for instance so I just long press and it's a rest instead of the note and two on again and it's on so I've shown you uh, the sequencer so recording slots one two and three now slot number four plays all the other three at the same uh, time each to its own oscillator so I recorded uh, some different sequences I'm going to, to show you here so slot number one things you can do you can record the arpeggiator for instance and uh, you can play with the steps that you're recording okay try sequence uh, slot number one enter record mode and then I'll just play the arpeggiator and uh, while it's playing 